Peace be to you. Today Jesus invites us to have his own protection in our way of life. As the twelve disciples were selected and sent on a mission, this instruction was given to them. When they were on a mission, they may encounter all kinds of oppression, opposition, challenges and persecution. And the disciples should not be perplexed while encountering all these things. They must have faith in the Father. This is the mission of the Father. The faith in the Father is that the Father accompanies a missionary. The missionary takes the word of God of the Father to give it to his own people. The missionary works as a messenger of God himself. Since the missionary was the messenger of God himself, the Father will be with them. The Father continues to accompany a missionary. The missionary is never alone. He is always accompanied by the Father. This pro providence of the Father is compared to a sparrow, a and hair of the person's head. These two, a couple of sparrow and hair on the head of human persons, do accounted into the plan of God. They are not simply there, but they are accounted in the plan of God. Without the account of the plan of God, it cannot live and it cannot fall. If a small living being and a small thing can be cared by the Father, how more important will be given to the missionary, a person who is going on behalf of the Father, God himself, the providence will be. So such a providence, powerful providence. And Jesus said, when St. Peter asked him, we have left everything, Lord, what we will get. Our Lord gave him very good reply that was, you will get hundredfold in this life with the persecution. Because God accompanies, because Christ accompanies, a missionary is not relieved of the sufferings that he may encounter, he has to undergo the suffering. In spite of the suffering, the Lord will give him a joy. A joy is religious and social friendship, intimacy in the world. And the next one is the eternal life. So, a missionary will enjoy a great friendship of God and the people in this world. Also, the 
eternal life in future. So, as missionaries, Christian faithful living in this world, we are called to trust in God. Trusting in God means God accompanies with us. God takes care of us. God dwells with us when we are on a missionary journey. When we go with the trust in Christ, with faith in Christ, we will have hundredfold. So let us have providence of God every minute that we are completely taken care of by God himself. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Be with us, Lord, strengthen us. Every time we are carried by your presence, we are strengthened by your presence. You are with us, Lord. Whenever we feel that we are lonely, whenever we feel we are dejected, you come along with us, Lord. Help us to realize your presence, also your presence in our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.